Hey everyone! The time is beginning. The ever so wonderful time. I've had it! I've had it! I am suing Morgan Adams. Yes! Get ready folks. Morgan Adams, you're over there buying houses and renovating. Might as well just send it over to me because I'm going to sue the bitch. In this video, we're going to be talking about Morgan Adams using me. You know, I thought me and Morgan Adams were friends, but she's using me for clicks and views again. Just when you thought you knew someone. Nope, she's using me for clicks and views. Just like all my other friends, just use me all the houses, use me for clicks and views. Well, Morgan Adams, I, I thought we were close friends. I thought you would never use me for clicks and views, but she did. And I have yet to receive my PayPal Venmo payment. I have yet to receive anything. I will sue the fool. Morgan Adams, you will be hearing from my lawyer. Madcaster, yes, hello? Yes, Madcaster, go ahead and uh, subpoena. Zetus the Petus. Go ahead and send the paperwork over to uh, Morgan Adams. Yes, right away. I will sue her. Maybe I have a case. We'll talk about it. He charges me $300 an hour, so we'll see how it goes. So, for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, Morgan Adams decided to use me for clicks and views so she can buy her Birkin bags and lavish homes and condos and houses and all, whatever. Her duplexes and checks and everything. I've yet... I've yet to receive anything, girl. So let me tell you what happened. Where the vlogmas begins, my sanity declines, and the cookie decorating contest comes back in action. Okay, so you know last year I did Tammy Faye. And she won, oh, might we stop add. It. <laughs> so obviously I like glitter, I like makeup, I like uh, extreme. Uh, I'm gonna do Rich Lux. Woo! Uh, she came with the blueprint. <laughs> she came with the architectural plan. So before I get into that, I, I'm forced to do sponsors now because Morgan Adams done sucked up all my relevancy. That I have to, I just have to pay light bill, girl. So this video is proudly sponsored by. What's up, guys? Okay, I am so glad to partnering up with Jobs again. You guys know I love working with them. This is the famous laser hair removal gun over at jobs.com. I'll put the link down below, of course, and save some coins. They have an amazing sale going on right now. It makes a perfect gift for the holidays. And I just want to reiterate that, you know, there are a lot of different types of guns on the market, and I really do like this one because it has different levels. And it has like this cooling technology that cools you whenever you get your laser on and the fact that you can have a laser hair removal at home it's truly a blessing and it does move to get different parts of the body to make it easier for you to do that and i just love everything about jobs and it's the only laser hair removal i have at home and i'm telling you guys if you look at the price it might be a little pricey but if you're into laser hair removal and it's something that you want to do you can save you thousands of dollars by doing it at home with jobs because you can go sit in a clinic somewhere and then wait in line and pay a higher fee because they can do it for you or you can do it yourself at home or have someone help you do it it has all the tools in it like the sunglasses the razor and so much more i've been working with jobs now for like, I think like four or five months yeah, and they're like really great people over there. And I love you guys so much and you have an amazing product and I'm still using it. Like it hasn't broken down. It's not some fly by night company or anything like that. I still have it here. I still use it and touch ups and things of that nature. So definitely check them out. I'll put the link down below. And again, don't forget they have an amazing sale going on right now, especially if you're one of those people who are like on the fence about things like that. They do have a return policy as well. And again, I think a lot of people ask me, like since I started using jobs, they say like, well, I mean, is it like a one and done? Like, no, like you shave the area first. You want to laser hair, remove that area. And then like in a week or two, you might see the hair growth come back. Not as thick, but like a little bit more finer. Shave the area again and to give it another passing with the jobs hair removal. And each time the hair follicle grows back, it's gonna grow back less and less and less. Because if you notice like certain parts of your area, like if you're a man, the hairs here are a little bit more thicker, more coarse. And like the hairs here are a little bit more lighter. With treatment, you can get the hair follicles to be less apparent and just not so thick and stuff like that. But it does take time, like it's not like, a one and done, one time use. No, you do have to use it. And that's the thing is that consistency is key. You have to keep up just like going to, you know, doctor's appointments, 
teeth cleaning appointments, stuff like that. You have to really put in the work to see the results you want. So I really like Jobs. I trust them. I think it's a great, great, great company. I think their prices are fair for the amount of luxury and the price that you get. And at the end of the day, like it works. So thank you Jobs for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with this drama. There is also a giveaway. To enter the giveaway, simply comment Jobs, J-O-V-S into the comment section and head over to at Jobs underscore official and follow for an extra entry into the giveaway. The winner will receive a Jobs Venus Pro 2. It's just that simple. Now, let's get on with the drama. Okay, and we're back. Woo! Let me just think about all that drama. All right, so, for those of you who don't know what's going on, Morgan Adams posted a video the other day where her and her lovely family got together and they baked gingerbread cookies. Hey, everyone. The time is beginning. The ever so wonderful time where the vlogmas begins, my sanity declines, and the cookie decorating contest comes back in action. Okay, so you know last year I did Tammy Faye. And she won, oh, might we stop add. It. <laughs> so obviously I like glitter, I like makeup, I like uh, extreme. Uh, I'm gonna do Rich Lux. Woo! Uh, she came with the blueprint. <laughs> she came with the architectural plan. Chanel outfit. Chanel purse, his fan. He's the receipts queen. So that's it. She called me a home wrecker. So. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. All's good in love and war. We're on film, yes. people. Oh, sorry. <laughs> got the lashes going. Oh, wow. I got the crown. It's pretty accurate. You want the postmate guy to judge like because. Crown. You know, we all know each other. I've got some cash in my life, so I'm gonna just kind of do this in front of James and say, Jimmy, can you be the judge of our content? While Teresa counts her money, let's take a look at our contenders. We have Ryland's Front Porch Grinch, Austin's LeBron James, my little Martha Mayhew, Shane's version of Tom Nook here for all of the bells, Teresa's version of Rich Lux, who is here to collect all of the receipts and then drag you on the internet. Susie's Eminem and Man. Two snowmans going head to head. Stacy's snowman and also Grandma snowman that she did remove its giant. And last but not least, we have my mom's version of Santo, which his head is half missing because Riley took a bite out of it. Or gingerbread, gingerbread people. Cause I don't want to offend the community. God forbid you offend the gingerbread people community. The, the gingerbread, what, I mean, can you call them people? Because they might be like non-gender, non-binary, non-conforming. So the gingerbread, the, what are they gluten-free? Were they gluten-free? I don't know. But Morgan Adam decided to have her family come over and they were gonna decorate uh, some bread. Okay, gingerbread men, but you know, you can't say that nowadays, you get canceled. They're gonna decorate bread with colored frosting and um, just, you know, the whole gigs. And they're gonna have a smorgasbord of just consuming carbohydrates and artificial coloring. Okay, so that was a celebration for the humans. So, and can I get a like on this video? Seriously, if I get enough likes and comments on this video, I can power up my spaceship and fly home to my home planet. Can we make that happen, girl? So then, Morgan Adams forces her mom, or Ryan's mom, forces, no, is it Ryan's mom? No, Shane Dawson's mom. <laughs> I'm so confused, girl. Morgan Adams forces Shane Dawson's mom to use your clicks and views. So Shane Dawson's mom, love her so much, love her so much. Shane Dawson's mom ha had a lot to say. She's a watcher. She knows the tea. She Listen, y'all want to, all these other drama channels out there who want to expose Shane Dawson and y'all want to expose Rylan Adams and all these drama channels out there that want to expose Morgan Adams. Girl, if Shane Dawson's mom sat down on a video and spilled the real tea, that, I mean, Shane Dawson's mom needs to start a drum channel, girl. I'm just saying. So Shane, I love her so much. She got it right. She was like the little Chanel with the pearls, because I have them right here. She had me like drip. Oh, crap, I think I broke something. She had me dripping in pearls and diamonds and pearls. I, freak, I loved it, first of all. This we're gonna see because it's Morgan Adams channel and they use my likeness. I think I have a case here. I have I have a case here. So I'm gonna sue Morgan Adams. Try to use me and gingerbread cookie. And I'm not even that brown. That's borderline racist. I'm not that brown. Mm -mm. I'm like opaque or something like that. 
So they put the gingerbread that and girl, they fat shamed me. They fat shamed me. I'm gonna listen, if I'm gonna go to the judge and sue Morgan Adams, I have a case. I'm gonna say, judge, racist, fat shame me, body shame me. And it's all Morgan Adams' fault because it's her channel. Not the mom. I'm not going after the mom. I'm going after Morgan Adams' the house. But all jokes aside. I thought it was really cool. Like, my phone literally blew up with so many messages, and they were like, Guy, did you see Morgan's video? Shane Dawson's mom. And I'm like, oh my God, what's going on right now, right? I thought Shane Dawson had, like, he was popping off again. Like, no, that's not how it went down. You're all liars. Like that, money hungry fools. Like, no, he was just like, it had nothing to do, it was nothing drama related. I was like, this is so much fun. So I'm really happy that, like, they put me in there. Cause I was like, oh, you know, like it was like a regular day for me, and like there I am shopping at the TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross. You know, I'm I'm out there hunting, cause I'm trying to find like this giant um, nutcracker that they have at the Marshalls or Home Goods. Whatever. It's like this big. I think it's like six feet or something. Anyway, no, it has to be like five, whatever. It doesn't matter. I so saw out there, you know, hunting for it, and then like my phone's blowing up, and I'm like, oh my god, what's going on? And they put me in the video. I was like super excited. Like that's so cool. Like at first, I couldn't watch it, cause I was kind of nervous. But then I saw the gingerbread, and it looked so cute. And I just want to say, I want to say personally, a big thank you to Morgan Adams, Shane Dawson, Rylan Adams, uh, Shane Dawson's mom. Thank you so much for putting me in there, because they easily could have been like, ah, right, take that out, girl. Take that. <laughs> He's too controversial for us. Edit that part out, that video. Just give her a regular cookie. We're going to insert, we're going to insert a regular cookie in here. But anyways. I, I just want to say a big thank you for that. It means a lot. And uh, really, it really made my day, practically my whole season. Until this day, people are still saying, did you see your gingerbread cookie? Like, I'm a gingerbread cookie. Like, that, girl, that's iconic, girl. That's iconic. Are you serious? But you know what the real shady part is? <laughs> you guys ready? The real shady part... Nobody made gingerbread cookie at Jeffree Star. Oh, you know, I seriously thought, I seriously thought they were going to make a gingerbread cookie at Jeffree Star. I seriously thought somebody was going to do it. So, but they knew not to fat shame him and that cookie girl. Okay, they already knew the house. Jeffree Star will sue the, sue the fool in this one. And what is this right here? Anyways, this is my fake lawsuit for Morgan Adams. So, yeah. I might sue. I have options. So, anyways, um... It was really cool. I met Morgan Adams uh, several times. Super cool, relaxed chick. Just like the just the calm, just vibes are just like there. It's like super. What kind of receipts were coming in right now? See, people are still saying it. Did you see the gingerbread cook? Yes, I saw it. And people loved it. And honestly, can we talk about the real issue at hand? I was robbed because I should have won. Like Shane Dawson's mom should have won that gingerbread cookie contest to for real, for real, for real. Because like, if you don't know. I don't want to spoil the video. If you haven't seen the video, you should like, go watch the whole thing, all right? But, like, I should have won. That was the best gingerbread cookie up there. That was uniqueness, nerve, talent, charisma. It was, girl, we done seen a thousand gingerbread cookies. We done seen a thousand Santas. We done seen all, oh, so boring in the house. But to make a Rich Lux gingerbread cookie, are you serious? Are you serious? Like, that is, right there, that is art. That is art right there. In a world where everything's been done before and we remix the remix, that was original. That was an original <laughs> idea. And Shane Doss's mom was robbed. She was robbed of that moment. And shame on you. Shame on you, Morgan Adams, for stealing. Um, well, you know what? I blame her for it all because I'm a Leo, hashtag Leo, and we always look for someone to blame. It is more, it's not the DoorDash delivery driver, Uber Eats. It's not the Uber Eats person. It is, it all falls on Morgan Adams' fault that I should have won. And so I demand a recount. I, the votes need to be recounted, reset the machine, recalibrate it, because I should have won that contest. And the fact that I didn't blows my mind why I didn't win it. It was it was rigged. The whole thing was rigged. And no one's talking about it. No one's calling it out. 
So I demand a recount. So anyways, I digress. I'm so frustrated right now. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you to everyone who continues to watch my videos. <laughs> I'm like one more cancellation away from being YouTube famous, girl. Okay. And, oh, I'm TikTok famous now. If I'm on TikTok. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye. I love you so much.